Over the last few weeks, we've talked about how Doctor Who has sunk to new lows with the Russell T. Davies return to be showrunner of these Christmas specials that are happening, these in these 60th anniversary specials happening and of course the new black doctor who going forward of course it looks like believe it or not the black doctor who is a russell t davies self insert character yes you've heard it right i know he's a white guy but it's more about the guy being a homosexual queer uh, and living that degenerate movie star lifestyle uh, than it is anything else uh, so the skin is literally just a skin suit the skin color uh, is just meant to virtue signal and all that but the self inserts really there if you look at it at the end of the giggle uh, the Nakuti Gatwa doctor goes out there and he starts calling David Tennant honey and pulling him in for hugs like to his chest like he's a woman and uh, of course he's wearing no pants it's all it's always about some weird sexual fetish thing with these people and it's making Doctor Who into just a laughing stock of what it once was now there's a trailer of the Christmas special coming up, of course, and it gets even worse from there. I'm going to show you how cringe this is right now. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator, and of course, the editor-in-chief of the Fandom Pulse. FandomPulse.com is your pop culture news website, so make sure to bookmark this. Check it every day. Uh, we are now, of course, uh, just replacing the people out there who uh, have been fighting the good fight before. Some sites have been shutting down lately, and uh, we're going out there to fight against... IGN and Kotaku and Bleeding Cool and, uh, of course, uh, Comic Book Resources. So if you want to support this, just just read our, our stuff. It's free. So I appreciate it. So here it is. Uh, the trailer dropped, and I, I posted this quick image. It doesn't actually show the skirt. <laughs> and I know that uh, some of the, the fanboys out there are going to go, it's a kilt. Okay. Uh, he's wearing a little white beater thing that makes him look effeminate and uh, wears a skirt, and he twirls around like he's a uh, woman in a dance club uh, trying to get uh, some some people to smack her booty or whatnot. That's exactly what this is in the scene here. It's really, really lame. Uh, <laughs> and it looks like, the reason I say it's part of Russell C. Davies' thing, you know he's part of this like pride culture. It looks like a big pride parade or like a gay nightclub. And in here, uh, the doctor's acting nutty like he's like taking X or Molly or whatever the kids call it these days and going out there and just uh, doing these crazy dance moves. Now, this is supposed to appeal to Gen Z, I guess, but it only appeals to like that homosexual audience. That's really all they're trying to pull off at this point, which is, you know, this used to be a family show. So it's something they're trying to normalize and just destroy regular culture and put this hedonistic culture in its place. With that hedonistic culture comes stupidity. If you look at <laughs> the dialogue of this, there's not too much in it. Oh, there's goblins. Uh, but his other cringe dialogue uh, that they put in here that they actually paused for it to like, this is their big moment in the trailer where they're going, hey, this is the reason you should watch this new. It's like, wow. It's like, wow. Uh, this is the level of stupidity it's come to. Now remember, Doctor Who used to be a very intelligent show. That was the whole point of it. It was a science fiction show that really had great concepts. It had the Doctor being smarter than, than everybody else. Remember, he could process things at levels nobody else could because he's not a human. And now he's acting like a teenage girl. It's like, wow, dancing around uh, like he's on drugs in a nightclub. Absolutely crazy. Uh, this is really a bastardization and just a total intentional destruction of Doctor Who. Because again, Russell T. Davies just wants his little like teenage uh, fanfic out there that he wants uh, to be done. Now, this all comes after the bi generation from this episode. You remember how he split off with no pants. Uh, and it, they called it bi generation. This is an intentional use of awards. Instead of regeneration, by generation is actually used as a virtue signal towards Gen Z. Russell T. Davies is saying you're the bisexual generation, and that's what this is meant to convey. The fact that this new doctor is using all these words like honey and sweetie to try to sound like a homosexual is not unintentional either. This is exactly what they're doing uh, across things, and of course, it's just going to kill the ratings of the show even further than they have already. This was the lowest rated David Tennant episode ever which only was preceded by the week before as the lowest rated tenant David Tennant episode ever, which was only preceded by the week before as the lowest rated David Tennant episode ever. Absolutely crazy. So Nerdrotic commented on this. Now, I did make a tweet very similar to this about an hour before. I don't know if uh, uh, this came from me originally or not, but uh, I appreciate it if he is reading my tweets. Thanks, uh, Gary. Uh, if not, uh, and he came to this conclusion himself, it's because... This is what it does look like. Um, <laughs> you can't really get around that this looks like some weird 
device, not used as a sonic screwdriver, but for uh, some weird degenerate purposes. And so that's exactly what Doctor Who is pushing now, and that's exactly where we can expect it to go in the future. Okay, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Do you like this uh, sonic screwdriver? You better not. <laughs> Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.